What's up everybody? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. How's it going? My name is Bailey Canning. If you're new here, I am an independent marketing strategist. And on today's video, I wanted to just give you a little bit of a behind the scenes look at how I've been editing these videos. Believe it or not, I have had several people ask me, what am I using to edit these videos? The answer to that question is Descript. I am a huge fan of this tool. The value Descript offers content creators, marketers, etc., is just so immense that I really do feel like everybody needs to know about this tool. If I were to give you the value proposition of Descript in my own words, it can significantly shorten shorten the amount of time it takes you to record videos. It will then undoubtedly make the editing and production process significantly faster. And then finally, there's a bunch of AI and or marketing tools you can then use with Descript to dramatically improve the marketing effectiveness of your videos, getting them seen by more people, all that type of stuff. If you are interested in creating YouTube videos, Descript is a great tool because you're going to be able to spend less time making videos and being able to publish videos faster. Before I was using Descript, I was only able to do about probably one video per week. And now I'm able to do two pretty consistently in a similar amount of time. Now in this video, I'm not going to be giving you an entire tour into Descript because one, there's plenty of you know documentation type videos you can find from Descript directly all about that. I'm just going to be showing you exactly how I use it and we'll be covering probably my top 10 features while I end up showing you exactly how I'm doing it to edit the videos that I'm making for my business. So if that sounds interesting to you, definitely stick around for the whole video because uh, I think it'll be pretty mind blowing. Before we get into that though, if you're interested in learning all about how to improve your company's branding, website, and digital marketing to ultimately generate more leads and grow revenues, then definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've been putting out videos just like this one to two times per week covering the topics I just mentioned. And also make sure to like the video because that's very helpful. All right, so let's just dive right into it. We're now looking right in my Descript account. As you can see, I have been using this for quite some time. There are a lot of videos in here and I just want to run you through the features that I'm using. I'm in a Descript project. This is a recent video that's probably already out by the time you're watching this. And the way Descript differs from every other video editing tool is that most tools will have you edit based on this timeline feature, which we'll talk about in a second. But Descript is different because it generates a transcription of everything you said in the video. And then if you want to make edits to what you say, then you just need to edit the transcript and it correspondingly will take place in the video itself. So let's just say this, I think just didn't make any sense. And I'm like, I just need to cut it. Then I just cut it there and it's gone. That's how the editing works. Now I don't want to do that. So I'm going to hit command Z and go back. This is huge because you don't need to have a whole lot of editing or video experience or knowledge even to make videos. Now, if you know how to edit a word doc, you can edit a video essentially with Descript, which is what makes it just such a cool, powerful tool. And ultimately there's really just like nothing on the market like it right now. I want to cover studio sound. So with studio sound, down. It essentially will edit the audio and use like this AI algorithm to edit it. I'm not exactly sure how it works, but what I do know is that it definitely does add a much more, I don't know, you could almost call it like a studio like sound to your voice. So I just want to play you one back example of where here it is off currently in this one video I made about presenting creative work to clients. So let's listen to the first sentence real quick. What's up everybody. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Bailey Canning. So from there, one, I'm using a Rode mic on my iPhone, so it is pretty good quality, I would say, definitely much better than the standard iPhone mic. But as you can hear in the background, maybe there's cars in the background, there are some other things going on, and my voice sounds slightly, I don't know, I guess a little hollow, but if we turn on studio sound, it's already on, and you can adjust the intensity as well. I put it at 90% because generally 100% seems a little overdone sometimes, but now if we listen to it. What's up everybody, welcome back to the YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Bailey Canning. I I think it sounds a lot better. It sounds a lot more fuller and richer sounding. And then also there is no background noise and there were cars constantly coming in and out behind. So if you just know you're gonna have some background noise while you're filming videos, whether you live on a busy street or you work from home and you got kids who are crying in the background, studio sound is gonna be super helpful. I do also think when it comes to making videos, believe it or not, the audio is actually a bit more important than video, especially when you're first starting out. So if you just have an iPhone, that's totally fine, but I would definitely recommend investing in something like a Rode mic or even this Yeti microphone, it'll really do a lot to where you can probably get away with a $100 mic or so for a lot longer than you could before upgrading with something like the Studio Sound. I can't tell you how many times it saved me from background noises that would have probably ruined the video. It's a great tool to have, highly recommended, definitely one of the main features of using Descript. The next thing I want to talk about is the fact of how we can automatically remove filler words. Let's look at a video that I still need to edit. Why don't we just take a look at this video that I already filmed, the first parts of it. Let's see, there are these filler words that it's already highlighted. But here I say, yeah, lots. Sorry, mom, I know I gotta get better at that. But with Descript, you can just literally have it say, 
remove filler words. So there's like this actions toggle, remove filler words. It'll highlight everything and then boom, one click, remove all, and they're all gone. Looks like I said 22 filler words and they're all gone. Very helpful, saves a lot of time. If you're familiar with the traditional timeline editor of video tools, you know how long that would have just taken me to edit out one by one. Real quick, as you're watching this video, if you would like to pick my brain on your company's marketing strategy as a whole, then definitely feel free to book a free strategy call with me. Link in the description, you can book time directly on my calendar. But long story short, I will take the time to learn about your company as well as its marketing and sales objectives, and then help you outline an action-oriented game plan to ultimately get you to achieve those goals. So link in the description if you want to book time, and I look forward to connecting with you. The next thing I want to talk about is how we can shorten word gaps. So it's not too much present in this video, but if I try to find another video, so this is another one that probably will be up on the channel by the time I film this, there are gaps here. So this is like almost three seconds, and this is me in between thinking. So this is a six second gap. And if you were to edit this one by one, it would take you a long time just to cut out all the gaps and make it everything like very coherent and have no dead space essentially. So if we go back to the actions toggle here, I would just say shorten word gap. So anything above three or seconds more, that's generally what they recommend. You can see there's 36 of those instances here and they've highlighted them here. Again, this is 36 separate edits I would have had to make if I was using something like iMovie, but with Descript, I can just hit short in all and then boom, they're all shortened and that just saved me a ton of time. Another feature I wanted to cover real quick, which I have not used, but it is quite a powerful feature if you wanted to use it, is that there is this option to record over something you said. So maybe you just say to something that's like factually inaccurate or you just messed up a word or something. And as you go back and look at the edit and you're in the middle of the edit, you realize you messed up and it's going to be very hard to go back into the video. What you can actually just do is dub over it so you can re-record over it right at your desk and then it will essentially match up your lips or it'll do the best it can using a variety of different AI tools and then that way you can then re-record over it which could save an entire video quite frankly. Now another thing you can do with it which I'm not even sure I'm be able to do right now is that you can record it directly into the script so if you wanted to you could go and record and then essentially it's pulling up my iPhone right now so let's see. You could record right into the script if you really wanted to and then from there you can then pause as you're recording and all that type of stuff. Now, the reason why this is a really key feature in my view is that before I was using this record in the script feature, what I would generally do when creating videos was I would just turn on my iPhone and I would just record everything in one long cut, which was not an efficient way to do it because oftentimes I would do the same segment like three or four times and try to pick out the best one. But now with the record in the script feature, you can just record your videos as you go along. So, you know, 30 seconds here, one minute there, two or three minutes there, you finish it up and then you can review as you're doing it to make sure it's a good cut and before you move on. So it's saving me a lot of time. It's making that initial rough edit a lot faster. So now if you've used this recording to script feature, you can save 20, 30 minutes that you would have to do just cutting the initial edit of getting rid of all the duplicate talks you gave and it just saves a lot more time again. So another huge time saving feature here. Also another thing worth noting is that Descript has a built in screen recording feature. So if you're familiar with tools like Loom, it's the same exact thing. This is really great because it's actually what got me onto Descript as well, because I think the intro starter plan is like between 10 to $15 a month or something like that. And Loom itself is $10 a month or something like that. Again, just to have the screen recording functionality. So Descript has that already baked in and it makes it a lot easier to edit again, because again, in Descript, you can just edit based on the timeline. And so yeah, the screen recording is a great tool. Now when it comes to adding effects in Descript, it's actually very easy. And by effects, I'm talking about like animations or just even text effects to add a lot more visual interest. So here you can see this is a video I did all about like the benefits a web designer will help you bring to your business. But I was able to animate in very easily all of the points I was talking about. So these are some of the benefits. So just using this text tool, you can just have a piece of text. So it's this text. And then I can just drag it right in. And then I'm not going to go into like the scenes functionality here because that's something you're going to have to learn on your own, but it's super easy to make it disappear and appear as you need. And yeah, honestly, in iMovie or Final Cut, I would have zero idea how to do this. But with Descript, I literally watched like a two or three minute video tutorial and it became pretty clear how to do it. Really great for adding a lot more visual elements to your videos, which are ultimately going to do a lot more to help people stick around. One thing I would be remiss if I did not point out though is also that for you experienced video editors, and I fall into this category because I do know how to work with the timeline a bit, Descript still does give you the timeline option. Option. So this is super helpful if you need to do like advanced type edits. It does give you this option and there's other tools you can use right here, but it really does definitely want you to be using the main 
transcript as your primary editing tools. But just so you do know, it does give you the timeline, which is huge. Another thing I wanted to point out with Descript is that it makes it super easy to take this one long form video clip and then to turn it into very short form clips of anywhere between 30 seconds to two or three minutes, which are super great for just getting eyeballs on your content on social platforms and then ultimately driving people back to the longer form content. So as you can see in this project, I have a bunch of different clips that I have here. So this is like a two minute clip it looks like about the role the designer can play essentially. And so if you do want to make clips, one, this makes it super easy to stay organized, especially if you're working with a marketing team or you're going to have a marketing person. Instead of just having a bunch of random files in iMovie, this makes it super easy. But for example, say I wanted to just find anything to clip out. So say I like this starting here and then let's just say it goes all the way to this, for example, even though it doesn't just stick with it. If I just hit copy to new composition right here, it'll then take that one segment and then now it's its own clip. So this makes it super easy as you can see for just social posts and for just staying organized and keeping all of your clips organized. Another thing I wanted to talk about real quick and this is still in beta, but they did just recently buy out a company that offered podcast remote recording. This feature is really only for podcasters or people doing interviews on their YouTube channel, but it is gonna have a built-in remote recording studio similar to Riverside, which is what I use for the interviews and podcasting on my channel. Riverside is super powerful because it takes your local audio and video, which is going to be a lot higher quality than the audio and video being recorded over like a Zoom or Google Meet call. And essentially that's going to be built in right into Descript. I'd be curious if they raise their pricing because obviously they'd be pretty well justified if they did. But it's just huge because now instead of paying Riverside, which I believe is like over $200 a year for the plan I'm on, now I can save it just by going all in on Descript. So I'm going to wait till it's out of beta and also probably until my Riverside plan expires next year. But I do think this is really cool. And then last but not least, I definitely wanted to talk about all these AI tools, which I've been using. They just added these recently, although they did have a couple, but now they've really upped their AI games. What I've been using it for is automatically creating chapters, which are super important. You can see here, chapter generator. So for example, if I were to go into this video and it's like how to turn your website into a lead generation machine, if I wanted to make the chapters, which are super helpful for YouTube, I can just ask the AI. Now there's a bunch of different AI tools you can do as you can see, but I just want to add chapters. And then I would say go away this, cause I don't really care how many there are add chapters into the script. It's already going to, it's going to scan real quick the entire video and then come up with chapters and it'll be timestamped automatically. Whereas this used to take me an extra five minutes, every single YouTube video to add in these chapters, which I think are super helpful because I use them a lot when I'm watching YouTube videos, I definitely use the chapters. This is huge. So like right here, I can tell you this is all pretty solid. So if I add it to the script, I already have a solid understanding of where all the chapters go. And then I can see the timestamp. So 852, this will change. Obviously, like you can see the raw edits almost 30 minutes, but now I have all the chapters done. So that saves me a lot of time. Going back into what other AI tools they have, you can now automatically turn it into a blog post or video. They're also coming out with a crazy feature I saw where you can upload your voice to Descript and then you can give it a script and then it'll have your AI generated voice over the script so that you could use a podcast based on that. So honestly, I wasn't expecting much from when I first saw that, but I watched the video, quite honestly, it's pretty compelling. I'm not gonna lie. If I didn't know ahead of time it was AI, I'm not sure I would know. And again, this is just like a new feature. Give it a year or two, I'm sure it'll be pretty amazing. And then it can also find good clips automatically, which is super helpful, especially if you have a long form podcast. So yeah, a ton of AI tools. They were ahead of the AI game. They already had AI features like two or three years ago. So definitely a lot of stuff going on here. All right, so yeah, that is how I am using Descript as of this moment to record edit and produce videos, and then ultimately get them published onto YouTube, and then the various different ways I'm clipping out content and repurposing them on places like LinkedIn. Hopefully you found this video to be very helpful. Hopefully you can see how Descript might be able to work in your YouTube workflow and make producing videos a lot easier. Let me know if you have any questions. I think it's a great marketing tool. Um, it's not just me saying this. I know a ton of people that I really respect in the marketing industry, colleagues of mine that I know directly who are all recommending Descript and are all using it to produce content themselves. One last disclaimer in this video, I I would say Descript is not meant to compete with Adobe Premiere and or Final Cut, although I've recently saw in Premiere they added the transcription feature, so it just shows you that Descript is like a pioneer in the video marketing space at the moment. But definitely, if you're looking to do like super cinematic, like 4K or 8K videos that have like movie level production quality on YouTube, then yeah, you're definitely gonna be better suited with something like Adobe Premiere or Final Cut. But Descript is not really trying to compete in that area, if you ask me for my opinion, not knowing anything about the internal workings of the company. Rather, they seem pretty clearly focused on like content creators, podcasters, marketers, etc., to be able to give them an easy way to create and edit videos and then ultimately 
giving them a variety of different publishing tools so they can get those videos in front of as many people as possible. It's always very interesting to see what the latest features are going to be in Descript. I really couldn't recommend it enough. I'm on the highest tier plan. I paid for it a year in advance. It's great. I love it. Yeah, it's really made everything I'm doing quite honestly possible because if I was going with iMovie, this would all be a lot harder, quite frankly. Hopefully, if you're an in-house marketer or a business owner, you can see how you can implement this into your content marketing workflow. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try to get back to you within a reasonable time frame. And until then, subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video I'm putting out. And I'll see you in the next one.